So for uh, Parkinson's disease, we have had drugs that mainly act on the dopaminergic system. But we believe that there are also other neurotransmitters that are involved in Parkinson's disease, and one of those are glutamate. Uh, and when glutamate is affected in Parkinson's disease, patients can have symptoms of involuntary movements or dyskinesias. And trying to block the NMDA receptors, uh, we are hopeful that's the way at least amantadine works in patients with dyskinesias to help the dyskinesias. So there were two pivotal studies done for the approval of GoCovery. Uh, the primary endpoint of the study was using a scale called the Unified Dyskinesia Rating Scale. This scale has questions related to daily activities as well as seeing uh, the dyskinesias in the clinic. Uh, in addition, the patients kept diaries during the day when they had off symptoms, when they had Parkinson's symptoms in other words, or when they had dyskinesias or they were on without troublesome dyskinesias. So both the studies had very similar results and they showed that the patients had improvement in the dyskinesias using the unified dyskinesia rating scale. And also when the patient kept home diaries, there was improvement in the number of hours they had dyskinesias. There was reduction in the number of hours they were off, that is when they had Parkinson's symptoms. And there was an improvement during the day when they were on without troublesome dyskinesias. So this was a first study that showed improvement not only in the dyskinesias, but also in the off symptoms. So GoCovery is unique that it is given at bedtime. And what happens is that for the first four hours, the levels are very low, they barely rise at all. And then there's a gradual rise after four hours. So when the patient wakes up in the morning, they have levels which we believe are the levels that would help with the dyskinesias. And then throughout the day, the dyskinesias, uh, sorry, the uh, mantine levels gradually reduce. So by the evening time, the levels are coming down. Now this is very different from the profile of immediate release amantadine, where the patient takes the amantadine when they wake up, the levels go up, they come down, they take the next dose, the levels go up and come down. And the other thing is using immediate release amantadine, we are only able to get the levels about half what we can get with GoCovery. So not only are the levels more sustained, but we are also getting much higher levels with GoCovery used at bedtime. GoCovery is one extended release preparation. There is another extended release preparation also available, which is basically given during the day, which has a pharmacokinetic profile very much similar to immediate release amantadine. Uh, that's why when you're talking about extended release amantadine capsules, we are talking here about GoCovery. Uh, the issue is uh, patients still have the side effects which are very similar to what you get with amantadine. Uh, and because it's given at bedtime, uh, some of the issues that you would see with early morning doses may not happen. But the bottom line is we don't have a head-to-head -head study to say you have less side effects with amantadine ER capsule versus immediate release amantadine. So GoCovery was mainly used for dyskinesias and we saw other motor symptoms such as off time also improve. But we have seen uh, in the patients in which it was used for dyskinesias doing post hoc analysis that some of the other symptoms such as uh, daytime sleepiness also got better. So, you know, even though this was used for dyskinesias, at times the non-motor symptoms can also improve in these patients. 